Greetings friends, David Marks here. This is the first video in a series of tutorials about how develop presets work inside of Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic. A develop preset is a stored list of image enhancement settings that we can apply to any image with the click of a single button. Lots of novice Lightroom Classic users turn to develop presets when they are getting started with the hope that someone else's settings will make their images come alive. This hope, unfortunately, has fueled an entire industry that profits from selling so-called magic Lightroom image enhancement formulas. Well, I'm not going to try to sell you anything today. Rather than fleecing you with snake oil, I want to show you what a developed preset is, and then in the other videos in this series, I'll teach you how to create your own. Now that you know where this lesson is headed, let's jump right in and let's get started. For today's demo, let's say that I want to turn this picture into a black and white photograph using as few mouse clicks as possible. To achieve this goal, I'm willing to trade away my usual interest in image editing precision for ease and speed inside of Lightroom Classic. One of the fastest ways to convert a full color original into a black and white is to use a develop preset. All of our develop presets live over here in their own section of the left hand sidebar in Classic's Develop module. When you open up this window pane, you'll find a long list of develop presets that are divided up into groups. From the factory, Adobe has included lots of sample presets for you. Since black and white conversion is what I'm after today, I'll tap on this tiny triangle to the left of the word style, black and white, to open up this preset group. Now, as I move my cursor up and down over the name of the presets in this group, I should get a live preview either here in the navigator window at the top left of the screen or out there in the main develop window. If you're not seeing a live preview as you move your mouse around over the name of your develop presets, then check the performance settings in the preferences menu. When I come across a look that I like for this image, then I can tap on the name of that preset to select these settings. Bam, just like that, my image has become a black and white. Now, this might seem like magic, but if we take a careful look over here in the panels on the right side of the screen, then we can actually see what this preset did. Starting from the top, this preset changed the raw profile to Adobe Monochrome. This preset made no changes to the white balance or the exposure, but it did add 20 units of texture. This preset added an S shaped point curve to add contrast into the shadows and the highlights in this image. And it used these settings for its black and white conversion. That's it. That's all that's happening here. When I tapped on the name of this preset, Classic instantly keyed in all of these settings for me, which is why my image took on this particular look. If I reset everything, and then I tap on some other preset, then Lightroom instantly keys in a different set of values for all of these sliders. Each preset, no matter who made it, is nothing more than a stored list of the develop settings that are on this side of the screen. Now, since this video is meant to be an introduction to develop presets, I could stop here, but there's one other great new feature that everyone should know about. With a recent update in the summer of 2022, Adobe has added an amount slider up here at the top of the develop presets panel. When you drag this slider up or down, when you move this control handle away from the middle, you're telling Lightroom to increase or decrease the strength of the active preset. Moving this slider to the right tells the program to push all of the settings that this one affects up to a higher value. Moving this one below the middle, the 100 mark, does the opposite. Dragging this one to the left reduces the strength of the changes that this preset makes on this particular image. Again, there's no magic here, but I really like this new feature. I like this one because my goal today was to turn this image into a black and white with as few mouse clicks as possible. Picking a develop preset that feels like a good starting point is fast. And then refining the strength of this preset by moving the amount slider that's about as easy as it gets. That looks good to me for this photo, and I'm happy now. Before I sign off, I must add that this wonderful new feature, the amount slider, 
This one works with most of the Adobe Factory default presets and some very new third-party presets. But if you dig around in here enough, then you will discover that Lightroom Classic still includes some older presets, like these in the antiquated defaults group where the amount slider is not allowed. This is also true, sadly, of most third-party presets. All of these third-party presets, the ones in here with the silly names, all of these were created long before Adobe introduced this feature. These feeble presets still function, but until their designer updates them, they will lack that amount control. Now, to be fair, I could apply one of these presets, and then if I wanted to soften or magnify what it does to my image, then I could start fiddling around over here with all of these sliders. Fine-tuning each of these sliders after applying a preset is not hard work, but again, my goal for the day was black and white conversion with as few mouse clicks as possible. If the preset that you pick doesn't save you a whole bunch of editing time, then one has to ask, why bother using a developed preset at all? When you do find a developed preset that works for you though, when you find one that really saves you a lot of time and effort, then this feature is worth its weight in gold. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you learned something today, then please hit the subscribe button and leave us a like or a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next tutorial.